Bay Night, brought to you locally by Lucky Wishbone. I'm Jason Barr. Just 10 votes. That's how close it was in our Lucky Wishbone Football Friday Night Game of the Week voting. And that's with over 1,500 viewer votes. The winner, Buena at Sienega. The Colts have the quarterback wide receiver duo of Giovanni Borbett and Keon Taylor. The Bobcats led by their QB running back duo of Ryan Swoger and Gabe Levy. To Vail we go. Thank you so much for welcoming our coverage out there tonight. It is homecoming for the Bobcats who entered this game with three straight victories. We picked this one up in the first quarter and it is Buena's Giovanni Borbin going one way, then the other. Big run here all the way down to the Sienega 10 yard line and that sets up a Colts touchdown. Bobcats answer though, the aforementioned Gabe Levy. Touchdown here to tie the game. Hey, let's fast forward to the fourth quarter. Sienega up by one with the ball. And this time, it's Swoger calling his own number, the QB keeper, but the extra point no good. So it's a seven point game. Buena with a chance late to tie it. Fourth down, oh no, wasn't ready for the snap. Sienega, winner on homecoming 26-19. Here's some post game reaction. You know, our kids, it's a big night. It's something they're always going to remember, homecoming game. And they uh, got new jerseys today, so they got the pride to, to have a homecoming jersey. And, you know, it was a special game, special win for us. It's all tributes to the O-line. I mean, they were playing great all game. And it, it felt great to, like, again, bring it home for the seniors on their last homecoming. Yeah, that's four wins in a row now for Ryan Swoger and Sienega. The Bobcats visit Marana next week. Just a few miles away at Empire High School, the Ravens taking on a much improved Mountain View team. We pick it up scoreless in the first quarter. That was Ezekiel Garcia catching a touchdown pass from Hayden Parson. And that made an 8-0 Mountain Lions. And then an interception here on the next Ravens possession. Zach Martinez deflects and intercepts. And the Mountain Lions take advantage. Co-captain Aaron Logston with a TD run. Mountain Lions win easy. Final score in this game was 43 to nothing. CDO is off to a fantastic 6-0 start. The Dorados play mistake-free football, but now the schedule is about to get a lot tougher. It starts with Saguaro tonight and up to Oro Valley we go. The Dorados rarely turn the ball over. They don't make dumb penalties. No score in the second quarter. It's QB Montana Neustadter to Devin Medea. But uh, this was a defensive battle in the first half. And later in the drive, CDO going in for the score, but it's fumbled in the end zone by the goal line. Picked up by Isaiah Grigsby and returned 15 yards. Saguaro ball, but the Cougars couldn't take advantage. CDO threatening again, but Jordan Bunting with a sack. Dorados broke through in the second half, winning 21 to seven, and that sets up a battle of unbeatens next week. CDO at South Point. That should be a lot of fun. Other winners tonight include Pueblo, Bisbee, and yes, South Point. Also putting up W's in the scroll on the bottom of the screen, Sabino, Ironwood Ridge, and Catalina Foothills. Let's keep it going now with Rio Rico at Amphi. This one was all Panthers. Kiki Trujillo with the touchdown run here as uh, they're up big in the third quarter. And then it's going to be Isaiah Hill adding another one. Amphi wins big. Final score in this game, 44-7. to 7. 